Hello, people of the world and beyond. My name is Arthur Silent, and today I'm going to be talking about, ooh, that was weird, talking about the third eye chakra, or the um, sixth chakra, Ajna. Yeah. Anyway, this chakra is associated with um, royal blue. I know the th throat chakra was also blue, but it's more of a light blue, or uh, what do you call it? Um, turquoise, turquoise color. And then up here, it's more of a royal blue or dark blue. Um, so the abilities of, clair of clairvoyance and clairaudience come or are activated. Clairvoyance is right here and clairaudience is in the throat. But when you open your third eye chakra, it will activate a lot of times your um, clairaudient ability if you have that gift in this um, in this lifetime. Some people don't, and it's not built up enough, so it doesn't turn on. Some people will be visionaries, you know, how it works, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, this chakra is blocked by illusion, which we will get into in a second. Um, but it's open and sustained by insight um, it'll help you build your inner knowledge and inspiration. Um, there we go. It will help you, uh, achieve your true purpose. It also links us to our, I believe it links us to our most multiple, multi-dimensional selves. So people will sometimes have a, um, existential crisis like what if i decide to move my pinky like was that pre-planned by destiny for me to move my pinky or am i acting upon my own free will what if i decide not to move my my pinky is that also pre-planned in destiny i used to think about that when i was younger and something that really helped me out was the um multiverse theory more specifically and how that relates to people free will and the multiverse theory is there's an infinite amount of us within the universe all acting of their own volition and making slightly different decisions um, throughout the universe so then that happens to be a future self and a past self um, and of course I believe the uh, third eye links all of us together all multi-dimensional person people persons making every single decision that we have ever made or decided not to make within our realm of reality and this links us all together and also connects us to our higher self up in the cosmos which could be a spirit laying dormant um, and using and seeing our or using our bodies to see reality um, and making decisions that way so I believe in free will. Um, the chakra is also related to our um, sixth sense. It can and is also one of the bridges between our lower um, and upper energies. So our upper and lower chakra energies. Um, it deals with the left and right hemispheres. Um, it helps us understand patterns, why they happen, how to get out of them if we are. Um, so if we're connected to the third eye chakra, um, then it can help us get out of and unstuck from patterns that we continue to, to make throughout our lifetimes. Um, it can help us sustained tranquility, um, inner knowing, strong vision, and metabolism known for the path of effortless action due to the fact that when this chakra is aligned properly, um, you can think symbolically and imaginatively and being able to have clear thinking. You can just kind of like walk through life a little bit more effortlessly um, than you would if a chakra was blocked because 
when it's not blocked, you can realize your dreams and achieve them. Realize what they are and what you want. And you can achieve them. Um, misaligned challenges with this chakra include headaches, uh, vision problems, poor memory, sinus infections, nasal congestions, allergies, night blindness, thinking abstractly or symbolically. Um, or you're not thinking symbolically or um, abstractly. And you could be stuck in fantasy worlds like playing video games every single day or being stuck in your head all the time. Um, it can help you remember your dreams. It can help you think um, clearly when it's aligned, of course. Um, you'll be able to visualize what you want more easily, like I was saying earlier, and accomplish and demonstrate great mental strength. And inching back onto it being unbalanced, it can also relate to being stuck on one specific truth. So if you've gotten broken up with recently or someone passed away and you're in a state of denial, um, then it can it can help with, with that too. Or not help with that. I guess it's, I suppose it could if you balanced it out, but it, it relates to those feelings um, as well. Um, when it's imbalanced, you can be insensitive, lack imaginations, practically everything the opposite we were just saying. Or you can even be um, expressing a little bit of sociopathic behaviors. Yeah, and since this um, chakra is related to the pineal gland, which helps regulate um, hormones related to sleep, um, when it's imbalanced, it can cause insomnia. And... When it's, so this chakra, sorry, this chakra relates to, can also relate to um, deep emotional feelings. Um, so when it's blocked, it can lead to, it can manifest as like depression, um, loneliness, deep sadness. And when it's in excess, it can lead to um, delusions, hallucinations, um, so practically all the bad parts of being like schizophrenic or manic depressive, um, a lot of those emotions and feelings that comes with both of those, it can cause a lot of those emotions to happen. Um, anyhow, this is also related to uh, the realm of spirits and original dimensions of reality. You will, when it's aligned, you will see both the inner and outer world. It urges you to see deeper meaning in everything that you do and situations that come across that you come across dealing with specific people in your life. Um, it is one of the seats of consciousness. Um, this is also the seat of ethics, judgment, um, and morality no not morality just ethics and judgment perhaps it's morality i don't think so anyway um fear stress and anxiety can cause imbalance um, and can also cause an inability to make decisions And I seek to give you a warning about this chakra. Don't run into it trying to use stones um, or meditating and just focusing on this area intently, energetically overwhelming this chakra. For one, that's unhealthy. Um, people can use stones in a negative way. Um, and also, as I had explained earlier, opening this chakra can cause hallucinations so you could start hearing voices, um, putting you in a state of fear that will cause you to go to the lower vibrational entities that really want to talk to you. And they're no fun. They're really not fun. 
and it's hard to control fear. You know, people with courage may seem like they don't have fear, but they make it seem like they're the only ones that know they're afraid. They're still afraid. And that fear can drive you to different places of the universe. Um, so just, just be careful. Um, and also, a short story. I had went to one of the rock shops that I have where, ooh, in my city. Hello. And I got one of these. Some of you already know what this is. I got, when I, when I bought this one, I was looking at a third eye chakra um, bowl, Tibetan singing bowl. And the guy was showing me how the bowls work and he was going around like that and like that. And he, when he was going around, I was focusing on my third eye and he's like, I love this one too. And then I started hearing this spirit that was attached to me. Spirits, they they definitely attach to people, um, more so to people whose energies are, are more susceptible to being um, taken advantage of by them. And I can do a video after all of it. I got, I've got uh, videos planned and pre-planned for, <laughs> for a long time. Um, Anyway, and it was just talking and talking and talking. I think it was talking to both of us because we both kind of like looked at each other with this really odd look on our faces like, did you just hear that? And then it got kind of like awkward for a second. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to go with the orange bowl instead. <laughs> um, and yeah, that was just a short story, but... Um, I have more things to do. I have research to do. I just got back from the gym. And I love, I love to hit the punching bag because it's one of my favorite things to do. Properly, of course. But I got to do something um, before the clock strikes midnight. So I hope you all have a blessed day. Like and subscribe. And, um, follow me, I guess. I don't know. Have a great night. <laughs> Good night.